Good enough, fellas. Here we go. We got the Desperados original Piwo beer, flavored with tequila, six percent. Made by Zewiak in Poland. You're kidding. I love their porters. It's the strongest beer you can buy in Dan Murphy's. 9.6% or something. Really nice, strong porters. Used to be 21, a six pack. Then they went up and went up and went up. Anyway, this one's the tequila beer. Look at the colour of that. It's probably golden tequila, is it? Nice looking can now. I love the can. The colour's just amazing, isn't it? That's beautiful. You're all kidding. Cheers, guys. Looks like the afternoon might get a bit messy. Straight away you get that tequila taste. Actually, the aroma. As you go to drink it, you can smell the tequila straight away. And there's a little bit of lime or citrusy flavour. It tastes limey to me, not lemon or anything else. And the beer is actually really tidy. Look at the head on it. Lovely. Clean, no strong taste, like a just a nice clean beer, and then you've topped it up with tequila. Thanks for coming. I like it, love it actually. It tastes beautiful, really refreshing with that lime sort of hit. Good to have it as a change. The writing's in, um, well, they also maybe brew it in Netherlands. Or this is, no, trading under the name of Desperados from the Netherlands. Okay. But made in Poland under licence by Zeewiek, which are a great company. But the ingredients are in um, Polish. What a classic beer. That's different. But it's nice. Now, our old mates at uh, Liquorland, is it? Coles? They've got these. Three for 15 bucks at the moment. And they've got a few other tall cans. So I asked them, can you mix them? So they said, yep. So I've got three tall cans for 15 bucks. Five bucks each. Six percent though. That's all right. And I think the one of the other ones I've got 5.4% or something. It's a San Miguel. I've done a few tastings on it. Yeah, Special. Special. But this is a ripper beer. I get sick of drinking beers. I've had three IPA cans. Tennies. Supporting liquor land. I walked out and I said I shouldn't have done that. I only really bought them because they were seven percent, and the others were six and a half. I was going to get the uh, the green cans. What are they? Another brand. Anyway, I'll probably do that. I'll support the small brewers again. Fuck the big companies. I'm sick of it. Really, support the independents, guys. I think that. Black Hornet's independent up in Queensland. They're bloody making some cracking beers. I can't believe Queensland knows how to make good beers all of a sudden. That's that's ridiculous. <clears throat> South Australia, they're knowing how to make some beauties. And this one's a ripper from Zewi. You want to get onto this. I reckon they've put a bit of lime in it as well. Doesn't say it anywhere. But it's a Dutch company. But what a good combo. Wonder what tequila they're using. They don't tell you. Piwo maybe. Piwo? Because it says Piwo beer. What does Piwo mean? 
I learn a lot of Spanish. It doesn't mean tequila, I don't think. It's funny you learn Spanish in Central and South America and it's it's good enough to talk in Spain. Spent a few days in Spain the last time we were in Europe, about f six years ago, I guess now, six, seven years ago. And yeah, look, I was chatting to heaps of people in Spanish and it was good. I'd come back. All of a sudden I could talk to the taxi driver and yeah, I explained where I wanted. I wanted a really good restaurant on the beach. Beach is Playa. So Playa del Mar. Mar is, you know. Yeah, anyway, it's all um it's all communication. So a few words of any language will get you through, you know. You don't even need those few words for, um, you know, just relax a little bit. G'day, how are you? You know, how much is that? Can we have a towel? You know, how much is the room? Twin room or single room? All those things you want to be able to learn in another language to get a really good price. And to make it comfortable for your hosts, I always find that. Make it comfortable for them if you start speaking English. Some people, they've got no idea. Speak Australian, they've got fucking zero chance of understanding a friggin' word you're saying. I really noticed that. In different countries, if you got off your guts and started speaking Aussie to another Aussie, the locals and Europeans and other people from around the world that speak English couldn't understand you. It was just like, you're kidding me. This is alright. So, yep. <clears throat> I recommend it, guys. Go to Liquorland. You're kidding. Supporting the big boys. Get a three pack of this and just um, enjoy something different for a change. It is. Good company made it, so they've done the right thing. They're not cutting corners, getting shafted. Some of the breweries have been bought out and they changed their brewing method and they got real crappy beer all of a sudden. And it's all changed. You've got to be careful. Alright, guys. I'll leave you with the Desperado. Oh, you're kidding.